Okay, now we want to talk about uh, actually measuring radiation. And so the first concept is going to be how much radiation do you actually get from a radi radioactive source. So this is going to be called the absorbed dosage. It's going to be abbreviated with a capital D. So the formula says the dosage you receive is equal to the amount of energy you receive from the radiation divided by your mass. So let's think about um, you have a radioactive substance giving off radioactivity. It's going to irradiate an adult and it's going to irradiate a baby. So which one of them is going to receive a higher dosage of radiation? So they're both going to see, receive the same amount of energy but the adult has a larger mass than what the baby does. So if you divide by a big number, so for the adult, the adult has the larger mass. If you divide by a big number, what comes out is a small number. So the adult will receive a smaller dosage of radiation than what the baby will. Now let's look at the units. The official uh, unit is going to be called the gray. Another name for a gray would be a joule per kilogram because energy is in joules, mass is in kilograms. But there is an older set of units. So the older unit for dosage was called the rad. And a rad is equal to 0 0.01 grays. Okay, but not all sources of radiation are as bad as other sources of radiation. So like you know that if you go outside, you can get irradiated by the sun, ultraviolet radiation. But that radiation, at least it doesn't kill you immediately. Okay, so different kinds of radiation have different amounts of lethality. So that's what the RBE takes into account. Uh, the RBE stands for Relative Biological Effectiveness. It doesn't have any units. It's just a number. The bigger the number, the more dangerous the radiation is. Okay, so let's go to our next one here. And then you have the real effect of radiation. So the real effect is you're going to multiply your dosage, how much did you get, times how bad was the radiation. And so that's going to be called the dose equivalent, which is going to be abbreviated with an H. And you can see that the formula is take the RBE times the dosage. And then its official metric unit is going to be called the sievert, SV, and, but there's an older unit called the REM, and a REM was equal to 0 0.01 sieverts. So um, what does radiation do to you? So if you receive a certain amount of sieverts, what would happen to you? So uh, the first one is uh, the maximum amount of radiation that people in the United States are allowed to get is 0 0.02 sieverts per year. If you get 0 0.1, so that's going to be five times that dosage, then you're going to start to get sick to your stomach. If you get one sievert of radiation, you're going to start to throw up. If you get five sieverts, you have about a 50-50 chance of living, and then anything more than six sieverts of radiation, and you're going to die. So if you work at a nuclear power plant, you wear a dosimeter, and the dosimeter measures the amount of radiation that you get. And so if that dosimeter gets above 0 0.02, it's going to change color, and then you're not going to be allowed to work at the nuclear power plant anymore. So here's a sample calculation, but notice it says in big, friendly letters, you don't have to do this on the exam. 
So how much of an absorbed dosage did they get if a 40 kilogram person uh, received 0.44 joules of energy from fast neutrons? So we know the mass, we know the energy, we need to find the dosage, D. So dosage is energy divided by mass, 0.44 divided by 40 is 0 0.011 grays of radiation. So that's part A. Part B, how much of a dose equivalent did they get? So first, you gotta go to this chart and we need to find fast neutrons. Okay, see the fast neutrons? So it's a 10. So that's going to be our RBE. Okay, so we know the RBE is 10. We know the D is 0 0.011 from the previous problem. We need to find the H. So the H is multiply the two together and you get 0 0.11 sieverts. Okay, part C. What will happen to this person? So H is greater than 0 0.10 sieverts, so they would start to throw up, but they would probably live. So you would look this up. We've got 0.11, and then we would go back to this chart here to determine what the fate of the person would be. All right, let's do one more thing before we take our break, and that is what are sources of radiation? So here it says that natural background radiation is uh, 0 0.002 sieverts per year. So this radiation uh, is going to come in from outer space and is also going to be given off by radioactive uh, minerals that are in igneous rocks that are used to make buildings. Okay, then uh, what about, oh, and then the percent of radiation that you receive uh, every year, 44% of that radiation is coming from the background. So it's stuff that you just naturally interact with. If you, take, if you get a CT scan, however, that's 0 .007 sieverts. So do you see that if you got three CT scans in one year, that would be 0 0.021, and then you would be over your limit for the year. So CT scans do give you a lot of radiation. An X-ray is safer, um, and so that uh, is uh, 0 0.0006 sieverts per year. And then the fallout from nuclear testing. So back in the 1950s, we would explode nuclear weapons on the surface. And so all of that radioactivity would go into our atmosphere. Well, there's still some radioactivity from that nuclear testing. Consumer products, okay, things like smoke detectors. So smoke detectors have uh, radioactive substances in them. And then, down at the bottom, look at nuclear power. So that's the amount of radiation that escapes a nuclear power plant per year. Not much. So nuclear power plants are very safe, but of course, sometimes there are accidents that occur with them. So let's take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about radiation and your health.